Hello, welcome to the Vomit Podcast, an extension of the Vomit series of podcasts. As always, I'm your host, Mac Taylor, and today we're going to be talking about more Challenge All-Stars, Episode 4, Semi-Charmed Lifesaver. Good pun there. So we start out the episode with a great quote by Yes, which is, you know, and again, this isn't word from word. This is just kind of like my kind of shortened version. The game moves so fast, right? Like it's, it's, it's moving along quickly. And you're either going to keep up with it or you're going to get drugged down by it. You're, you're going to end up, it's going to pass you by. So basically, what, what, and this is a good foreshadowing for what's going to come later. But basically, you know, if you're not willing to do the work, as this 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 season is going to evolve, you're going to lose. It's just how it's going to how it's going to be. Uh, Nehemiah, he's riding high. He had a good challenge, a good arena with Tech. Took out Tech, and while Tech wasn't this big comp beast legend, it's still like he put up a fight. Like he he, he was a, a worthy adversary. Uh, Nehemiah talks about wanting to use the money to help underprivileged uh, communities kind of, you know, uh, out with that cash. So at least he has like a good, a good intentions for, for the dough. Uh, I've always liked Nehemiah though, ever since the duel. So, but you know, seems like a really good hearted guy. Uh, and Jemmy Talks about, you know, flirting with him to, you know, use him to get further in the game. And she's like, don't hate me for it. I'm like, I don't hate you for it, girl. Do what you got to do. You came to win. I respect that. You're open about it. I respect that. Nehemiah probably knows that there's it's just, you know, game level shit. He ain't falling in love with you. Uh, meanwhile, Beth's missing home. Which, you know, now, I think believe this is the first challenge he's been a mom. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, and Cyrus, who, you know, Cyrus and Beth are, it's well documented, they're friends. I've seen, you know, some of their challenges together. They're close. Uh, and he wants to try to kind of pull her out of this hole. Like, hey, put that 500K smile on, girl. Like, we got we to go war. And it, it's good that she has Cyrus there for her. So she's not going at this alone. And we haven't seen the villain Beth come out. Pretty much every season of the challenge I've seen her on, she's like the villainess, right? You know, we haven't really seen that from Beth yet. I'm not saying it can't come out. I'm not saying it won't come out. But it seems like she's really calmed down over the years, been able to kind of step away from shit. Uh, and Arissa talks about being a weed cook, uh, basically, you know, mixing the other, uh, you know, weed and food, which are two great things. Great together. Good stuff. Uh, she's doing her whole incense burning thing. Uh, and basically, you know, she, in Battle of the Sexes too. not only did, did she not get the win, but Mark Long himself took the loss so the boys could beat the girls in the final, and Mark got a chunk of that cash. Like, he, they split it with him. So, basically, you know, because they wanted Arissa in the final knowing she, knowing she would lose, she kind of wants to, like, avenge that, kind of wants to show she's, you know, she's got some worth, some spunk in her. Uh, and again, major fucking uh, foreshadowing later. Uh, so Mark kind of hopes Arissa will do well, though. You know, you, you don't want to see someone come back and not really do what they want to do as far as like redeem themselves, right? Uh, and then Katie tells Derek that, hey, you know, people probably think I'm a layup, but, you know, I, I did a little working out before we came here. Like, I, I'm ready to go. Look. Don't underestimate Katie Doyle. She, she does not do good with heights and water, but a lot of people don't do good with, with heights and water. Uh, but, like, in, like, elimination duels, she's a beast. Like, you don't want to go against her in an elimination. Like, she, she's won a fair share of them. She sent a lot of people packing. Uh, and and, and she's, she, she's a fighter. She's got heart. But she – and I, I can't get mad at her for not wanting to jump from high places into water because like at least three times she's done it and busted her face. Like I understand having a little bit of PTSD when you are always hurting yourself when you do these challenges. So, you know, I, I, and she's short as hell too. And it's hard to do like height stuff. I, I can't, I can't falter for that. Uh, 
Katie's a fucking lion heart. I, I have all respect in the world for Katie Doyle. I don't know what her married last name is. I just know what it was when she was on the challenge. That's why I just put a sad for reference. I know she's married now. I do not know her, her married name. So Derek is everyone's hype person, too. He's like, Katie, you know, she, she's you know, strong enough to get through childbirth. She's a, you know, she's, she's a competitor. I have faith in her. Like, it seems like any, anytime anyone needs a heart to heart about like competing, they always, they always come to Derek. That's why, that's why Derek's uh, one of my, one of my picks, my male pick uh, of the season, because Derek and every challenge, like no one really, everyone loves him and he's a good competitor. So even when someone does try to take a shot at him, it usually don't stick. So uh, Derek, Derek's a very interesting case in the challenge of being like an all around really cool dude but he's also like a fucking beast and it's hard to get him out. So they compete, uh, and on the ropes, which, you know, there's these four ropes high above the water that to make your way, uh, back and forth. And as you complete a trip, you can cut one of your enemy team's ropes, which makes it harder for them to get across. Uh, and we're divided into, uh, four teams of five. And since there's 19 people, one person has to go twice, a person being Darrell. Really bad luck of the draw for Darrell. So the copper team is Arissa, Easy, John A, Alton, and Katie. The black team is Kendall, LT, Kellyanne, Darrell, Gisela. The gold team is Yes, Ruthie, Derek, Anissa, Mark. And the silver team is Cyrus, Beth, Jemmy. Nehemiah and Darrell. Beth, si Beth and Jamie have been on a team a lot. And it's, it's interesting that Beth and Cyrus are together, that Ruthie and Anissa are together, that uh, I believe Yes and Ruthie have been together a few times. Uh, Darrell and Kendall are together. And Easy and Katie are together. They, they seem to be on, on teams a lot. Uh, again, I feel bad for Darrell having to do this twice. Uh, and the team captains, as, as we know, as it's been the, the whole time, it, it's going to be a female arena day. So the female captains, the winner is safe. The loser goes in, and the male winner will get a lifesaver. So the captains are Mark and Ruthie, John A and Easy, Beth and Nehemiah, LT and Kendall. And Rissa put John A on, on the spot. She's like, hey. You haven't been a captain yet. You need to step up and do it and have confidence in yourself. And John A's like, shit, like, I just don't want to go into the arena. <laughs> it's like, if you feel that strongly, Arissa, why don't you be the fucking captain? Uh, and then Gisela straight up tells Kendall, you need to be the captain because you quit in two challenges. I ain't going to put my ass on the line for you. You're going to put your ass on the line. I was like, damn, Gisela. Came out of fucking nowhere. But it was gold. And we'll see. She has another, like, out of nowhere line later. Like, again, Gisela, I love her. That's why, that's why she's my other pick. If nothing else, great television. Uh, so Kendall moving very fast on the first go. Like, she, Kendall is a good competitor. She's just really bad at uh, the social part of the game and the strategy part of the game. But she, she's great at comps. Um. And climbing ropes is literally Alton's whole personality. So he's good at that shit. Uh, and Kendall actually recovers. Someone uh, dropped a rope, and she manages to pull herself up and you know, saves her own ass. John A. got so close. like she, would, she slid across them damn ropes for what felt like five hours and was right there and then fucking got dropped. I felt so bad. I'm like, oh. But you can't get mad at her because she fucking gave it everything she had. Uh, Gisela eats it off of it. Easy eats it. Uh, Darrell calls him. Uh, he, he looks like a, a giant leprechaun taking a shit on, on that line, which is an interesting, interesting DR. Uh, and K Katie ends up uh, quitting the channel. Not, not the actual you know, show, but she quits the comp. Ops to just jump off. Because every time she's up in the air and goes in the water, she hurts her damn self. And the ropes are the two high ropes. She's really short. 
So she had to like jump up there to do it anyway. It was just, it was highly improbable that she would make it. I can't. No one got mad at her for it really. But she knows that she'll probably go into the arena because she was the only one who doesn't complete it, or at least you know make the attempt. And she'd rather face an elimination than bust her face open. And again, I can't, I can't fucking fault her for that. Can't do it. Uh, and then Arissa ends up falling, so the black team wins that round. And Gisela starts hitting on Alton, talking about how sexy he is. And I don't, is Alton married? Because I know Kellyanne talked about his family, but I don't know shit about his life. So I don't, I don't know if this is cool or not, or if Zella's just trying to slide up in there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I ain't judging. I'm just curious. And Cyrus, he's also worried Beth, you know, if, if their team loses the most, that, you know, Beth will go in, and he, he doesn't want to see Beth face elimination. Uh, so he's less worried about himself and more about Beth. Uh, so it's gold v. silver here. Uh, Derek and Nehemiah, they have a very close encounter, but Derek ends up knocking Nehemiah off. Uh, Nisa ends up getting taken down. She tried to save herself, but just didn't have the upper body strength to make it through. Beth ends up against Mark, of all people. So, of course, Mark beat her and made her fall off. It's Mark versus Beth. It literally could be anything. They could compete in a competition on who had who should be named Beth, and Mark would probably still beat her. That's how un, uneven that matchup was. Uh, Ruthie also beasts through it. So Gold ends up winning that round pretty flawlessly. They think they only lose like one, one rope the whole time. Uh, Cyrus is the last one. He just opts to fall because, you know, they're clearly going to lose, and he might, he's just trying to not hurt himself. You know, he, he, he's one of the older castmates, so and it shit hurts. So Gold ends up having the overall time, so Ruthie is safe, and Mark gets the lifesaver, and he wants to use it because he's like, hey, if anyone's going to use this lightsaber, it should probably be me. It's going to get weird. And I'm like, I respect it. You know, Mark got this whole show off the ground. It's pretty fitting that he uses the, the twist of the season. So Silver ends up losing. So Beth will enter the arena and she's worried because Beth doesn't, she, she's been in a lot of eliminations and it's just about fitty fitty. Depending on what, what it is, uh, she can win or lose. The only thing she's really ever quit was that mud wrestle with Anissa and she just didn't want to get her ass beat by Anissa and I don't blame her. Uh, and, you know, that was 2005. Uh, so Beth tells her team she wants Katie or Kendall. And Jemmy's like, look, Mark's going to use the, the lifesaver on, on Katie. And you, you'll probably lose to, to Kendall. So why, why don't you pick someone like Arissa? So again, Jemmy trying to get her outcome out of the arena, just like she did last week. Just trying to, to get, you know, to try to maneuver her way through. Which I appreciate. I'm really loving Jemmy this season. And I have never really been much of a Jemmy fan. So Mark and Beth go back to uh, season two of the challenge. So Mark, you know, willing to help Beth out uh, if, you know, if she, it, to, you know, face somebody else. But Mark and Katie are very close friends. And so Katie volunteers to go into the arena, knowing very well that Mark will save her. And also that people will really respect someone volunteering to go in, knowing that it was their time. So she gets respect and also doesn't have to face elimination. That's like, that's a win-win. Like, it's huge. And good on Katie for making that call. Uh, and then so they go out drinking. Mark has the big Godfather crown on. Derek's acting like his hype man. And they have a meeting with all the women discussing the probability of using the lifesaver. And basically, it's just a way to kind of ham it up and have fun television moments because uh, he knows he's going to use it. And he also tells Aris, Aris has been like isolating herself from the group, but you know, it's hard to live with people as a full fledged adult after, you know, like she had a real world time. She had her challenge time, but now she's like used to not really used to living with people. 
So she spends a lot of time alone. But the problem there is that all these other people spend time with each other, and so you're the odd one out. But Mark tells Arissa, hey, if I get to choose, which is how the Lifesavers worked in the past, I won't say your name. Uh, so Arissa is comfortable with that. And again, but, Mar but they don't know what this Lifesaver will do. But nevertheless, they, they guarantee that. Or, and Mark, Mark wants to put Kendall in. Because that's the person he really has a hard time reading. And Alden also wonders what happened with Arissa because like, she was such a outgoing like party girl which you know that that the party girl co like can come out of you but she seems like this whole recluse like he's, he's like i wonder if she's changed so much i wonder what happened uh jemmy also feeds mark's ego with the whole godfather thing which is great uh jemmy she's she's trying to play the the villainess the seductress uh, i dig it so Beth sees her family like via Zoom and prepares for battle. Like she's got, she, she, that, she and her family has reinvigorated her. She's ready to go war. I respect that. So Mark does use the lifesaver on Katie, but what they did not know was that when you use the lifesaver, it's an automatic vote and no one has had time to prepare. So there's no deliberation. It's just fucking go vote. So Beth wants Arissa. So Darrell starts it off with, with, with Arissa. And she gets real pissed real quick. So she's like, I'm going to fucking run over Beth. I'm going to beat her ass. Jemmy says Arissa. Anissa says Kendall. Kendall says Anissa. Which Kendall, like, you should try to throw Arissa out. Because, you know, right now it's between you, you two. Uh, and it's weird that she'd say Anissa. Uh, Gisela says, Kendall, she's like, how dare you come at Anissa? You come at Anissa, I come at you. And I'm like, whoa, where'd that come from? But again, Gisela really don't like Kendall. Uh, Arissa votes for Kellyanne. Again, Arissa, it's between you and Kendall. Vote Kendall. Or even Anissa. At this point, she has some votes. Uh, don't throw out a, a hinky vote. John A. votes Arissa, Alton, Kendall, Easy, and Nisa. And Anissa and Easy have this like back and forth, like, I'll fuck you up. And then they, they kind of act like they're going to go at it. TJ's like, all right, kids, settle down. We, we're still filming a show here. Cyrus votes Arissa. Yes votes Arissa. LT votes Arissa. Derek votes Arissa. Kellyanne votes Arissa, which puts Arissa officially in. And she's like, I want to box. Can I box her? TJ's like, uh, no. I'm, I explained what we're doing. With the competition they were going to play, you had to like pull, pull a rope, which pulls these walls apart. You throw the wall, a ball over the wall, smash through it, wash, rinse, repeat till you get through. But it said to Annette, she's like, I just want to box her. And TJ's like, yeah, we, 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 we can't. We're, we're doing this whole wall ball thing. And then she's like, you know what? And she takes her helmet off. She's like, fuck all you guys. You guys didn't accept me in this house. I ain't going to do it anyway. Fuck you. I'm done. And she quits. And that's when the line that we got in the trailer that we were trying to figure out who it was, where TJ goes, uh, don't take care. Hope to see you never. Uh, yeah, we got we to gotta quit here. And Beth's like, fuck it. I'll take the win at this point. And uh, Tarek's like, a win's a win. And it was tough to see someone quit here, you know, especially knowing that a couple of other alternate all God, me and my enunciation today alternates, you know, people like Casey, and I'm not the biggest Casey fan, but she never quit any challenges. She would have loved to have Arissa's spot. So I'm kind of sad to see that uh, Arissa just blew it. Now, I understand she was mad, but use that, like like a lot of people said in confessionals, use that anger, beat Beth, prove your worth. Like, I don't think anyone's going to pick you again in a row. Like, it, 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 just, it seems like a little much, right? Uh, and so, so Cyrus had a Team Beth shirt on. They're reunited. It was good holes. I, I was hoping Beth would stay anyway. I wasn't the biggest Arissa fan to begin with. But, and again, it seems like the, everything's cleared up. There's no beef held after the season, but 
that that's probably it. Arissa is now a two and done and probably never coming back to the challenge because she quit and quitters shouldn't be brought back anyway. Uh, you can excuse a few people that stepped away. I mean, how Gisela and Beth both stepped away from stuff in the gauntlet too. And they're on this season and we're on uh, Beth was on multiple seasons after that. There's a little bit of a difference between like refusing to do a specific competition or just flat out quitting. So, so with that, that ends the discussion of the challenge all stars. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this episode. I thought it was pretty fucking awesome. I can't wait to see more. I'm loving this whole all stars concept. I hope we see more seasons in the future. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Until next time, stay safe. Most importantly, stay nerdy.